Today's gospel picks up where the Beatitudes left off last week. Jesus is continuing his teaching to the disciples. Listen to some of these words in today's passage from Luke chapter 6. To you who hear me, I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. When they slap you on one cheek, turn and give them the other. When they take your coat, let them have your shirt as well. Give to all who beg from you. When someone takes what is yours, don't demand it back. Do to others what you would have them do to you. Love your enemies and do good to them. And be compassionate as your loving God is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you won't be condemned. Pardon, and you will be pardoned. Give, and it will be given to you. A full measure packed down, shaken together, and running over will be poured into your lap. For the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given back. Jesus is preaching a love of enemies. And that is a radical proposition in the Gospel of Luke. He is not, Jesus is not preaching to the crowd this time. He is directing his message to the disciples, the ones who are called to listen and to follow Jesus wholeheartedly. Now the disciples, being faithful Jews and practicing Jews, would know the matter of the heart of the matter of Jewish law is this: you shall love God with all your heart and all your soul, and all your mind, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now they are challenged to expand their way of loving, to love without reciprocity, to love a stranger as a family member, to love freely without expecting anything in return. The call to love and love of one's enemies is an attitude and an action. It is grounded in compassion. It is grounded in the act of doing good, of blessing, and of prayer. And it is imitating who God is as a God of compassion and mercy, a generous, forgiving, and loving God. That is the motivation behind Jesus' message to say, love your enemies and forgive those who harm you and give freely to others. Notice at the end of the gospel, Jesus calls that, say, be merciful as God is merciful, be full of compassion, not to be judging as God judges. In fact, Jesus says the opposite, do not judge and you will not be judged. It takes a tremendous amount of faith and courage not to play God, but allow God to work through us. It's like that we are not God. Let God be God and that we as disciples are called to love with compassion and forgiveness. That is not easy to do. We are called to be ourselves, created in the image and likeness of God who loves and be like God who is full of compassion and mercy. Forgive with compassion. One version of the gospel calls it pardon and you will be pardoned. These are hard things Jesus is asking us to do. They're not easy. But forgiveness is freeing in two ways. First, it frees the enemy by giving that other person the opportunity to move on beyond the wrongdoing and to give them a chance to live for good. It frees the other. Second, forgiveness frees us. We who've been hurt of that sense of freedom to let go of the grudges, the resentments, and the need for revenge. We are liberated. True forgiveness liberates us from those ill feelings. Now, it does, forgiveness does not mean forgive and forget. It doesn't mean that at all. What it means is when we forgive, we remember 
with no baggage. We remember with no baggage of resentment and hurt. We can remember that pain, but we can let it go. We don't carry it as a backpack on us all the time. Or ill will or resentment. And we don't have revenge underneath the sense of forgiveness. Revenge has nothing to do with working for justice. We can forgive and work for justice and know that, it, that revenge is not part of that equation. Because forgiveness demands that incredible amount of faith in God, of being compassionate as God is compassionate. And trusting that God, let God be God, and let God restore justice in God's time and in God's own way not ours. This week, in what ways will we live by the words that Jesus gives us today? Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you and pray for those who mistreat you. How will we live those words of love? Amen.